A vein of precious minerals was unearthed in the kingdom of Glenbrook. From east to west, joy swept the land. United at last in common cause, the kingdom of Glenbrook, the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, and the holy state of Hyzant endeavored to wrest this bounty from the earth, with each nation providing expertise and resources. This uneasy alliance between once bitter enemies will herald a new era of tranquility in this long embattled realm. One after another, dignitaries from each nation arrive in Glenbrook to solidify this accord and toast to its success, the first step on the road to peace. Among those who would forge this road is Sarah Noah Wolffort. Inheriting the title of Lord Wolffort from his father Simon, he must decide what foundation he would lay for this new era. Welcome to Castle Wolfort, Minister Lila. Allow me to express my gratitude to the Holy State. Were it not for your nation's generous efforts, this venture would never have come to fruition. You are too kind, Lord Simon. You too have served an invaluable role in this. Though I must admit, the news of the union between your son and Lady Frederica came as quite the surprise. None in Hyzant considered that a bannerman of Glenbrook would join with the ruling family of Esfrost. I hear that Lady Frederica is the Archduke's half-sister. I must ask, how did this arrangement come to be? Oh, your curiosity is only natural. This union was promised during the war, an arrangement made with the previous Archduke. Truth be told, I am surprised one as well informed as yourself did not already know. And this is your son, as I recall. Sarah Noah Wilford, at your service, Minister. And I am Frederica Esfrost. My son still has much to learn, but I believe this marriage will herald a bright future for us all. For today, I intend to step down and leave House Wolfort in Sarah Noah's capable hands. You're abdicating your position? Surprising news comes in pairs, I see. Nonetheless, I am happy for you both. I imagine the lords and ladies at tonight's banquet will take great interest in the new Lord Wolfort, as will I. <laughs> Pray, go easy on the boy, my lady. I hear that young Lord Dragan of Esfrost shall also be in attendance? Indeed. He has been appointed to oversee operations at the Grand Orzellian Mines. I understand his star in Esfrost has seen a meteoric rise. Good. I would like to hear more of this new explosive substance he means to use to blast the tunnels. As a fellow scholar of sorts, if in a different field, I am always curious to learn how great discoveries are made. He should have arrived by now. Has anyone seen him? Dragan's gone to see the city. He was halfway there before the gangplank landed on the docks. Ah, he is your cousin, yes. I see we share an innate curiosity for new places. The banquet will begin soon. I shall seek him out and escort him there. Very good. Though I will host tonight's festivities, I want you to act as if you're already Lord of the House. Our guests are the most esteemed personages of their respective nations. Take care not to cause offense. Of course, Father.
I thank you for your hospitality today, Lord Saranoa. Think nothing of it. Did you enjoy the city, Lord Dragan? Quite. Its people are full of life and love for their lord. That says all I need to know about House Wolfort. You honor us with your words. I am only being frank. Frederica is the sister of the Archduke, after all, and my cousin besides. I would not see her marry into an unworthy house. Suffice to say, my expectations were exceeded. I have heard much of your ingenious contributions to the mining efforts. I sense prosperous days are ahead of us. As do I. Finally, our nations enter into an age unfettered by war. With Esfrost's iron, Hyzant's salt, and Glenbrook's mediation, there is no limit to what we can achieve. We must regard each other as equals, and forge mutually beneficial relationships. I sense skepticism in your words, Lord Dragan. Do you mean to imply our relations are not already mutually beneficial? I need not imply anything. The salt tax you claim makes my case more than clear. Bold words from one so young. Is that how peers speak to one another? Perhaps the young ones, yes. What do you think, Lord Saranoa? Dissatisfaction with the salt tax was one cause of the war, was it not? Salt is a divine boon, a gift from the goddess to her true believers. This is the foundation of the teachings that guide us in Hyzant. By allying with Esfrost, do you mean to gainsay our most fundamental beliefs? Of course not, Minister. We understand that the source is Norzelia's sole supply of salt, and we would not deny that it is the Holy State's right to harvest and tax it as you see fit. Thank you for acknowledging that. Though it strikes me that your words are measured. You needn't be so non-committal, Lord Saranoa. It is only reasonable that the three of us have differing opinions on the matter. However, that is all the more reason for us to be open to frank discussion. Hmm. Honored guests, <laughs> pray forgive my son. We of House Wolfort are but simple warriors. <laughs> I'm afraid matters of finance and politics do not come to us naturally. This, however, I can say. We will fight injustice and tyranny wheresoever it may be. Of course, we do not enjoy conflict. Still, we will not hesitate to defend our land and our people should the need arise. No matter how mighty the threat, we will fight for home and kingdom. Yes, Lord Simon. Of that we are keenly aware. I apologize if I spoke out of turn. But the fact remains that as every winter passes, the tension between our nations grows, and salt is the cause. The common folk have all but forgotten its taste. I simply want to ease their suffering. The ministry I oversee is committed to the preservation of life. I personally believe that salt should not be a luxury reserved for the privileged few. All those who live require it. Not just those lucky enough to be born within the borders of our holy state. You agree with me, then? How I feel matters little. In Hyzant, the word of the goddess, as conveyed to us from the lips of the Hierophant, is absolute. But perhaps this joint mining venture of yours may lead to the change you seek. Indeed, we must set our gazes to the future. All of us. I expect you will be the ones to usher us into a new era. Yes, Father. Father spoke not a single word to me today. Before long, I fear I might forget the sound of his voice. Please, sister, you weep and wail like a common girl. Show some composure. Father has a kingdom to rule, a kingdom engaged in a historic endeavor. He has more important duties than to pamper a spoiled child. I... yes, a 
course, brother. You speak as if father's duties include anything more than licking the boots of these dignitaries. It is inconceivable he cannot spare the time to break bread with his daughter. You speak out of insolence and ignorance, Roland. I speak only the truth. He leaves all the cumbersome tasks to the Wolforts and Minister Patriot. A king's word is to be obeyed. And what of his subjects? Do they exist simply to bring him glory? To take the blame for his failures? They are to serve as he sees fit. The hell they are. Believe as you wish. Speaking of his subjects, it appears Lordship of House Wolfort will be passed down to young Saranoa. What? How fortunate for you to have a friend in the new lord. Best not take loyalty for granted, however. House Wolfort is obedient enough for now, but that can change as quickly as the wind. Use them well when you can, but be ready to bring down your fist if they dare to rise above their station. Don't speak of them like lapdogs. They're not servants. They're my friends. Do you really think to lead with such a soft heart? You are not fit to wear the royal signet. Oh, stop this fighting at once. You frighten me. Enough of this. Where are you going, brother? To train with Sir Maxwell. I would clear my head. There is a tourney on the morrow, after all. Your spear wavers, my prince. Something weighs on your mind. You've always been able to see through me. It's no great feat. Your heart lies ever on your sleeve. Do I hear disapproval in your voice? Not exactly, my prince. It can be a weakness, yes, but it can also be your strength. After all, sometimes a direct strike is most effective at piercing a formidable defense. I will take those words to heart, Sir Maxwell. Thank you for today. The pleasure was mine. I expect a good fight from you tomorrow. In the final match, no doubt. I take the field with House Wolfort. Together, I have no doubt we can emerge triumphant. Ah, that would explain your improvement. Young Sarah Noah is a worthy training partner. Even so, I have no doubt you've held your own against him. Tom Sir Maxwell, I... Sometimes I wish I wasn't a prince. Sometimes I wish I'd been born your son instead. Surely you jest, your highness. Your father is a great king, and an even greater man. It is an honor to serve him as I do. Apologies. I forget myself. I must have taken quite a blow. Anyhow, I suppose I should rest till the morrow. Be well, Sir Maxwell. It cannot be easy being the youngest prince. To have others expect nothing from you, yet still shake their heads in disapproval. But you can rise above this, my prince. Seize your chance, and lay everyone's doubts to rest once and for all. Now that's what I call a feast. You've landed quite the catch, Frederica. He is a good man. I can see it in his eyes. You are too kind, Lord Dragan. And humble as well. 
Are you impressed as I, Frederica? I can tell that your heart is pure and gentle, my lord. Lady Frederica... Forgive me if I caused offense. I thought only to return your sincerity and kind. No apologies are needed. I am happy to meet your approval. I... Thank you, my lord. <laughs> Words come so easily to the both of you. And a perfect match. Forgive my curiosity. What sort of life did Lady Frederica lead in Esfrost? Her life? Truth be told, my dear Serenoa, not a pleasant one. Those of Rosellen blood are looked down upon in Esfrost, <laughs> even if they are the daughter of the Archduke's concubine. Gustadolf's full siblings are the worst of the lot. They have not a shred of human compassion between them. They cruelly bully the girl endlessly, regardless of time or place. Is this... True? Of course it is! I know Frederica's suffering all too well. My own father lived ever in the shadow of his elder brother, the former Archduke. Our house, too, is met with sneers by those who consider themselves our betters. But no more! I shall show all those simpering fops that it is not birth that makes great. And so I did my due research at the archives, that my grand invention shall blast our way forward. <laughs> Dragan, please. I believe you've had enough to drink. You can hardly blame me for availing myself of Glenbrook's finest libations. Brought by each cask more exotic than the last. <laughs> Why, do not partake would be an affront to our newfound allies. Just make sure your head is clear for tomorrow. Or have you forgotten you're meant to be representing your nation? Mm, oh, yes, a, a ceremony to usher in a new age of harmony and prosperity. I am too young to have known the war, so I... I see our three nations joining hands more as a matter of expedience. But what of you, my kin-to-be? How do you see our grand cooperative venture? It is impossible to understand each nation's motivations. I can't say whether this bodes well. Interesting. You are the first I've spoken to to express such skepticism, and yet, <laughs> you may see more clearly than most. Like as not, it is a baseless worry. It is a Lord's place to worry. We may at last share a common goal, but our motivations differ. The future is murky, no matter how brightly some may try to paint it. My new cousin has the intuition of a leader, I see. Or perhaps you're simply a worrywart. <laughs> In any event, it is always good to have another perspective on matters. Let me tell you what I believe. 
I believe we're on the cusp of a great achievement! As always, it is the young who must bear the burden of building the future. Hmm? Old shoulders are frail, old minds stubborn. Whatever lies in our future, those who make it will mark their names in history. And mine, mine will be written large for all to see! And I would write yours next to it, my dear cousin. Pray, come visit me at the mines once operations are underway, and I, I shall... Trigan, are you quite all right? Worry not, Frederica. I'm just a bit tipsy. Perhaps I should just lie. It would seem Lord Dragan has turned in for the night. Quite the passionate fellow, isn't he? He's never been one to hide his ambition, ever since we were little. Neither does he hide his disapproval of my brother and Trueborn siblings. Feelings which you share? I grant it would be satisfying to see the sneers of those who look down on me wiped from their faces. But I also agree with Lord Simone. That we must set our gazes to the future. Though I know not yet how I might best serve in this new age, I would do what I can. We are of the same mind in that regard, my lady. Let us ease the weight of each other's burdens. Please, call me Frederica. We are to be husband and wife after all. Of course, my... <laughs> Frederica. Pray, call me Sarah Noah as well. Uh, we should carry your cousin to his chambers. Will you help me? Frederica. Certainly, Sarah Noah. Let us take care not to wake him, lest he resume his prattle. <sighs> Benedict, hmm. I thought I might find you here. My lord. Did you tell her? That Sarah Noah would soon be taking over as lord of our house. Forgive me, my lord. I did not think to... Save your apologies, Benedict. Doubtless she was overjoyed to hear it from you. Destra always did trust you above all her advisors. As do I. For 30 years, you have served my house better than I ever could have asked for. You honor me, my lord. My lord? <laughs> I suspect this will be the last night I will hear those. My lord, I will call for a healer at once. Uh, do not bother, Benedict. It will avail me not. You know as well as I how my heart now fails me. My lord... And so, I entrust Sarah Noah to you. For our house. Pray heed this old man's final order. Certainly. I will live to serve your son until I breathe my last. Did you hear that, Destra? Our boy is in good hands. My old dear friend, long have we stood together. I will not let you down, my lord. My beloved son, Sarah Noah, will oversee the matters of our house from this day forward. I expect you to serve him as dutifully as you served me. Of course, Lord Simone. Aye, my lord. 
our undying loyalty to House Wolfort. My son, listen well. The Lord's judgment shapes the fates of his kin and subjects alike. Responsibility for their well-being now falls on your shoulders. You must lead them well. Yes, Father. I shall keep those words close to my heart. To that end, I require wise counsel. Together, you possess a wealth of experience. As Lord of House Wolfort, it is my duty to consider the best course from every perspective afforded me. I shirk not from this responsibility. At the same time, I would be a fool to not seek guidance from those more traveled than I. For my house and my people, I trust I can rely on you. Well spoken, my son. I dare say you are more than ready to receive this. The Scales of Conviction, a holy relic said to be blessed by the deities of old. It was gifted to our family by the King of Glenbrook. From this day on, I entrust it to you. However, it is of little use without these. Coins? Seven of them. Tokens of conviction, we call them. Give one each to only your most trusted retainers and allies. They will guide you when the path is darkest. Their words will illuminate the pitfalls ahead. Heed well the advice of your friends and subjects and choose your steps carefully. Such has been the way of our house and such you must see it always shall be. I will, Father. I shall treasure these gifts and make wise use of them in times of need. Very good. Now do your duty, my son. We await your orders, my lord. We depart for the capital at once. May this ceremony be but the first of many joyous occasions ahead of us. And so the stewardship of House Wolfort passes from father to son. Lord Simone Wolfort, beloved throughout Glenbrook, entrusts the future to young Serenoa. With the ceremony to mark the beginning of the joint mining venture and a tourney on the horizon, the Wolfort set forth to the Crown City. With no heroic deeds yet to his name, the new Lord Wolfort sets his eyes on the Proving Grounds, eager to show his worthiness. Sir Lord Simon will step down. I suppose the time comes for us all to pass on the torch eventually. What wisdom has your father bestowed upon you? Hmm. He has told me what it means to be lord of a house. Very good. Sarah Noah of House Wolfort, the crown of Glenbrook now looks to you for loyal service and brotherhood. Yes, your majesty. I shall not disappoint. I dare you to say that again, Thalys. Must you make me repeat myself? I am the Prime Minister of Esfrost. I and I alone am fit to represent our nation. Go push your papers in the shadows like the minor lordling's son you are. You would shame me. You, who would be nothing if not for your high birth. Your ineptitude is mocked by noble and commoner alike. Dragan, you forget yourself. You both forget yourselves. Frederica? If you must bray at each other, then do so back home. Your bickering will bring shame upon our nation. 
Such strong words, sister. Do you think you're above us now that you're being wed to Mighty House Woolfort? Please, Erica. My apologies, but the ceremony will begin soon. I ask the delegates of each nation to make their preparations. And you must be Sarah Noah Woolfort. Well, I suppose we should bother the happy couple no longer. Well done, Frederica. I see you've inherited your mother's wiles. She always did have a way with men. Too bad you also inherited her hair. That sickly pink makes me want a wretch. Pray forgive my cousins, Lord Serenoa, and forgive me if I was out of line. Those two, they were... Phallus and Erika Esfrost, full brother and sister to Archduke Gustadolf, and my half-siblings. I see. Well, I hope that we can all come together for the sake of our grand endeavor. My honored guests, I am pleased to announce that operations at the Grand Norzelian Mines have commenced in earnest. The Earth has yielded treasures more magnificent than even we had anticipated. May the mines endure for many years as a symbol of prosperity for all of our nations. Well said. With Hyzant's salt and capital, Esfrost's ingenuity, and Glenbrook's raw materials and manpower, our realm's future is bright indeed. It is a partnership built on three pillars, each bearing equal weight. We owe a debt of gratitude for all who have supported this grand venture. A particular note is Lord Dragan, whose knowledge has allowed us to so swiftly see our labor bear fruit. And House Wolfort, whose mediation has proved invaluable in forming this accord. May their deeds be forever remembered by history. Let us raise our cups and toast to their health and happiness. Huzzah! Huzzah!
Lord Sarah Noah's smiling from ear to ear. Seamus' parents couldn't be here to see this. Do not get too swept away in the moment, Eridor. We have a job to do here, and the day has only begun. Now that the formalities are done with, let the festivities begin. Step forward, Sir Maxwell. So, this is the one they call the Dawn Spear. Glenbrook's fiercest warrior. They say he has never known defeat. I would take the measure of this man. Now that the foundations for peace have been laid, let us be stifled by rigid formality no longer. There is a tourney to be had, after all. A much more entertaining event than my endless speeches. <laughs> here, 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 here. <laughs> Will any among you prove a match for our Sir Maxwell, the champion of our previous challenge? I very much look forward to finding out. Until then, help yourselves to our hospitality and our wine. Eat, drink, and be merry. It shall not be long until final preparations are complete. Our time is nigh, Sarah Noah. Ah, but I forget myself. Our time is nigh, Lord Wolfort. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you. But living up to the title will be no easy task. You'll do your father proud, I'm sure. Unlike some of us. Have more faith in yourself, my friend. After all, you too shoulder the future of the kingdom. I wonder. I wonder if Glenbrook will truly flourish thanks to anything I do. Of course it will. It already has. Besides, House Wolfort is at your back. My apologies. And thank you. I shall strive to be worthy of your support. You two are quite the pair, aren't you? Fast friends from the day we met. And you are? Apologies for not introducing you sooner. This is Hugh Wett of the Kingsguard. I am tasked with keeping his highness safe, though he often seems to resent it. Tis a pleasure to meet you, Lord Wolfort. Ah, Prince Roland has told me much about you. I can see he is in good hands. I shall see that it is so, my lord. Now, let us begin our preparations. Today, we take the field. And today... Today, we claim victory.
The combatants have arrived, and the stage has been set. Let us introduce the champions who will fight for the glory of their nations. Fighting for the honor of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, General Avlora. Fighting for the honor of the Holy State of Hyzant, Minister Exham Marshall. Fighting for the honor of the Kingdom of Glenbrook, House Woolfort. And last but not least, the victor of our previous tourney, Sir Maxwell the Don... Hurrah! Hurrah! The Woolfort Lordling is here in his father's stead, I see. Lord Simon's heroics on the battlefield are the stuff of legend. A pity I couldn't match swords with him today. You will match swords with me. I promise to make it every bit as exhilarating as father would. You have his spirit, if nothing else. Indeed. I look forward to crossing swords with you. The combatants have assembled. Now, let the battles begin. I shall announce our first pairing as chosen by lots. Minister Exham and Lord Walfort, make ready for combat. Ready and willing to battle, to battle with pleasure, to battle with pleasure. Be gentle, my lords. I'm not as strapping as once I was. I expect no quarter from you, Prince Roland, nor from you, Lord Serenoa. Show us the swordplay your house is so famous for. They're two of Hyzant's most famed generals. We'll have no room for mistakes. Then we shall make none. Now, let us show the realm the medal of the new generation. For honor and glory! Time to work. My turn. You are not worthy of my time. Your lifeblood yeah. will paint my sword. Here I come. From this range. Defeat is not an option. Ugh! <sighs> 
There is no mercy on the battlefield. I have your back. Much appreciated. I'll take you on! So battle, I suppose. Shall we begin? Allow me. Much obliged. Let me show you what I've learned. Two ashes. You've left yourself open. Uh. Hello, uh. me. Damn it. Good try. My turn. You don't stand a chance. Here I come. From this range. You brute! This battle is won! The situation is grim. Your turn. Ugh. We win. Ugh. Oh, ah, no. There is no mercy on the battlefield. I have your back. Delightful. How shall I destroy you? <laughs> Come at me! Look to my shield! Shall we begin? Be at ease. This will help. I will end this. My turn. Ha! Ah. Goddess, I thank you for your blessing this day. A worthy foe is a glorious gift indeed.
You find the goddess in odd places, Exam. This trifling tourney will bring Hyzant neither riches nor glory. The goddess works in myriad ways, Minister Sorsley. You would do well to keep your eyes attuned. Uh. This won't be easy. Yeah. Uh. Did you see that? We win. Uh. Time to take flight. From this range. You brute! This battle is Hello, won! Hello, Rish! I've gained new strength. I asked for no quarter. You did not disappoint. Perhaps. Minister Sorsley, I leave the rest in your capable hands. Defeat is not an option. This ends here! Damn it! Not a chance! This is troubling. Now. To battle, I suppose. <clears throat> Let me heal your wounds. Your wounds are healed. My apologies. Come at me! I fight for peace. <laughs> Your orders? It's over! A new power. Time to take flight. Darkness engulfs you. Defeat is not an option. Wait your turn. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Good try. There is no mercy on the battlefield. My turn. I shall do what I can. Your wounds are healed. Thank you. Let me show you what I've learned. We will make our ideals reality. You won't beat me! Show me what you're made of. Time to work. This'll hurt. Uh. Follow my lead. <clears throat> I struck through. This is most unpleasant. Here I come. Darkness engulfs you. For the honor of House Wolfort. 
I'll make this quick. Ah, my old wounds flare up again. I can fight no further. To think they'd get the better of us. Your father taught you well. You wield that great sword with skill beyond your years. Well fought. The day is yours. Victory goes to House Wolfork! Our next bout shall be between General Ablora and Sir Maxwell. May glory go to the victor. Stand back. This one is mine. <laughs> Very well. I accept your challenge. Whoever taught you, they taught you well. <sighs> Though something tells me you surpassed your teacher long ago. Your defense is formidable. As is yours. I yield. <sighs> Victory goes to Sir Maxwell! Uh, my hand. I can't feel it. <laughs> so that was General of Laura. I pray never to meet her on the battlefield. There will be no quarter given today, young lord of House Woolfort. I would expect nothing less. And none the worse for wear, considering the blow you took from Sir Maxwell. Uh, he was too strong for us in the end. Today, yes. But let us keep at our training. One day, the students will surpass their master. Let us work hard for that day, my friend. <laughs> 